Okay, so uh, I'm just going to demonstrate now the uh, thumb palette. So, I don't know if you can see this here, but this is what it looks like. Uh, the ring is adjustable. You pull it apart with your thumbs like this to make it wider. Or again, push it together like this to make it fit. And it just fits onto your thumb like this. Yeah, so it's creating a nice handy surface for you to keep your paint. Okay, here's one that's currently in use. You see it's got a nice bit of paint on it. Uh, so we have been using it. Uh, now this is useful in, for all sorts of, for when you're painting models. You can see you've got some paint on the palette. You can go straight from the palette to the model. You can point your brush, apply the paint, you know, point the brush and straight on. Now some people use a tile, I found it was a bit of a inconvenience and to go back down to the tile, back up to the model, you know, some of you might have a light, you might want to, so you're going down, back up into the light. With this, you've got everything here, so you can just paint away and speed things up a great deal. Now, it's also useful for techniques like dry brushing. I've got this model here. I don't know if you can see that there. Nice big model, plenty of texture on it. And, you know, something like this could take a long time and you'd make a lot of mess. Now, before I had this fun palette, I used to uh, use a piece of paper or something, or I even used to use the back of my hand here. I'd take the paint off the brush here and then apply it to the model. With a fun palette, I can just wipe it on there and apply the paint to the model. So this has got plenty of texture on it. Uh, again, now let's do his face here. And then this okay, so I'm just picking out the detail. But the great thing about this is I don't have to go down to a tile or a palette on the table. I've got it right here, right next to the model. Now this might be useful as well for blending colours because the colour is closer to the model. If you're perhaps fading from one colour to another or doing a, a gradient or a transition, you can mix it all right here and see the effects immediately. Now, often when I was painting, I'd be in my uh, hobby room painting, I'd come out, I'd have paint all over my hand where I'd been doing this uh, dry brush technique and my missus would go mad, saying, look at the state you're on. But, uh, you know, I can use this now. Do some painting. It's also a lot less uh, packing up time. I don't have to get everything out, I can just get the pot of paint, my brush, the thumb palette, and just you know do a little paint paint in, add a cut some add a colour on the model, and then put it down. So over time you'll get a nice fit covering of paint on your palette. But it's easy to clean, you use stainless steel. So you can see there, it's just pulling off the layer of paint and you're ready to start again. And then just when you finish, just take it off. Put it with all your other tools. Okay, that's the end of this demonstration.